Cosby. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Salut, salut, hein, Montreal. Oh, yeah. Was my French pretty good? Salut, you like that? Mm -hmm. You guys are so judgmental on the French. I didn't like the way he said that. That's why I took Spanish. Fuck French. No, here, let me tell you. Because with French, like, you guys always micromanage shit. You want somebody to learn, but then you don't want somebody to learn. They'll be like, hey, you should learn it. Then when you try to learn, you go, well, you didn't say it right. You didn't say it. Uh. See, French is so hard, you guys even forget. When you're speaking, you do this pause. <laughs> yeah, you forgot. It was that hard. I take Spanish. That's right. I study Spanish in college. Let me tell you why. Because Spanish people, mm, they celebrate you. You just learn one word, one fucking word. You can be at a hotel in a Spanish-speaking country and go, how you doing? Cabeza. Cabeza! Hey! How do you know that? Muy bien! You're like, I'm gonna learn another word. <laughs> so I'm staying here in Montreal. This is the greatest festival ever. It's the greatest festival. <laughs> the greatest. Your hotels suck. Let me tell you why. It's these cleaning service people. They think they're slick. They're trying to catch you naked. <laughs> Have you noticed me staying in a hotel? You know, you would think, knock hard. Like, so you can push your dick away, shit like that. Nah, they do this on purpose. Cleaning. Cleaning. <laughs> You're like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are you jerking off? Sorry. You know what I'm gonna do from now on? When they break in, I'm just gonna wait. They're gonna like cleaning service. Pfft, I knew you would come in. <laughs> Clean the walls right now. Thank you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I hope they break out. I knew you would come in. <laughs> so mean. Just like when you ride in the elevators. See, I don't know if you're like me, but I like when I get in an elevator by myself. Don't you like that? When you run into an elevator, you're by yourself, you're like, hell yeah. I hate when somebody catches it. Doesn't it piss you off? They go, hey, you're like, fuck. <laughs> you're like, is it going up? It's going up, fire, fire. I had one lady do this to me and it, it made me angry. She goes in, she, she catches it, I was like, okay, fine. But she goes, hey, I'll join ya. <laughs> You should be pushed off of a fucking elevator if you say the wrong shit. I'm like, get the fuck off my elevator. I love the one where they try to catch it, you see them from afar, they're like, hold it, hold it, and you pretend like you're pressing. Uh, uh. As Soon as it closes, yeah. <laughs> and you laugh as it goes up. <laughs> you ever get on an elevator so crowded you start looking at the license? The fuck? 2,000 pounds. <laughs> I hate when I, you, everyone has done this, where you get off elevator, you get off on the wrong floor, but you pretend it's like your floor. You're like, all right, I fucked up. <laughs> and you just wait for the door to close because you feel like an asshole. Oh my God. I want to give credit, because I know you guys are French, so I know you want, watch World Cup soccer. France, congratulations, France. Congratulations. Let's all thank the Africans that helped you win that shit. <laughs> Africa! Son of a bitches, the Africans won that shit. See, that's what I love. Yes, that's right. That's what I love about these teams. They use these Africans. It doesn't matter what the country is. Soon, watch, in the next four years, China is gonna have an African team. They were like, who you play for? I play for China. <laughs> I'm Mobutu Chang. Mobutu Chang is my name. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm 100% African. You're damn right. And I don't like when people question me either. They question me. You don't question Italians. I have friends that are 10, 10 generations off in New York City. You ask them they're Italian. He's like, hey, I'm Italian. My mother's Italian. My father's Italian, my brother's Italian, everybody's fucking Italian. 
I'm like, what part of Italy? The Italian part. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm African, 100%. And I've, I grew up in America, so I'm cool like that. You know what I mean? I'm tired of the Africans that are messing up my shit. The ones that go, hello, I am here to... No, fuck that. I don't like that shit. <laughs> nah. Even my cousins, my cousins that call me to visit me in New York, I'm like, ugh. They be like, Godfrey, when can we come and see you? <laughs> in New York City. I'm like, not with that accent, fuck that. Because <laughs> I know my cousins, the way they talk to women, oh shit, hey, woman, come here. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> get her, get her, she's not dead, get her. <laughs> now, why do we use the word pussy to describe weakness. No, why do we say, man, quit acting like a pussy, man. Why do we use women's genitalia to describe weakness? That's not fair. Let's keep it real. The vagina is strong as shit. No, I'm serious. When I see a pregnant woman, I'm like, damn, she got people in her. <laughs> and you guys just walk around with babies in you, just walking around doing shit. I'm like, damn. And you have, sometimes you have tuplets. Pucka, 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 pucka. <laughs> and you just walk after that. It's amazing! That's why when dudes say, yo, did you get the ass? Yeah, I tore that shit up. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Let me tell you something. Babies came out of her. Skulls, legs. <laughs> Even babies that came out sideways came out of that. This shit does nothing. <laughs> so all you guys that think you tore that shit up, I want you to pull it out and look back. It's like you were never there. Mm -mm. Yo, was eating with a vegetarian today. Who the f is a vegetarian? Ugh. <laughs> Can I just f with you? I f hate you people. You know how I know my friends are vegetarians? Because they can't wait to f tell me. Who are meat eaters in here? You all look like meat eaters. Look at your faces. <laughs> meat eaters are the <laughs> Huh? If you listen to her stomach right now. <laughs> what is that? Just detoxification. She's hungry than a <laughs> right now. And they always have to go, you eat meat? Yeah, you eat meat? That's why we have <laughs> teeth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You eat meat? Yeah, I eat <laughs> meat. I'll eat you if you don't get the <laughs> out of my face. <laughs> we're meat eaters. It's good <laughs> You understand? I'm surprised you even got here. You were too, weren't you too weak to walk here, huh? And they always say, did you see the documentary? <laughs> what I tell you? Did you see the documentary? There's a documentary about... <laughs> and they always tell you, you don't know, look what they do to the cow. They always, <laughs> they always show the footage of the cow going, moo, moo, moo. And the cows are in the cages like, oh, yeah. And the farmer's like, shut up, cow. Kyle, shut up, Kyle. Cows and ass. I'm my cow. Look what they did to the cows. They in their ass. Man. Then they say, I'm not even. That's why she's laughing, I'm telling you. She'll say, Don't eat the meat. It's distressed meat. You're scared. Who the f has been eating meat going. <laughs> This cow wasn't too happy. Mm. <laughs> this cow's having problems. Mm. Ooh, this cow was sodomized. I know, I could, t I could just taste the tenderness of the meat. He was <laughs> in the ass. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is another thing. They say you're killing life. Uh, vegetarians, you're killing life too. You kill plants. <laughs> they don't make noise, that's all. I wish plants would make noise. <laughs> Meat eaters would be like, stop killing plant. Stop killing plant. <laughs> Being an African, you know, Nigerians, you know, you eat, your, you eat African food every day. I grew up in Chicago. You eat African food every day, okay? And my mother was a nurse, right? So when my mother would go on a double shift, because nurses do double shifts, we'd be stuck with my dad, see? 
And my father, he was very dramatic when, you know, he was with us. He'd be like, your mother is not here. She has left the house. She is on double shift. So, this is what I will do for you. And my father was a chauvinist. I will never cook for you, ever. <laughs> so, I will take you outside to eat. We will go to McDonald's. We were like little African kids, like. Daddy is going to take us to McDonald's. Hey. My father was a at McDonald's, where he, where he ordered, welcome to McDonald's, may I take your order? Thank you for having us here. <laughs> My children are hungry. My wife is on double shift. I will never cook for them. Hmm? Cause I'm a, I'm foodie, man. Indian, right? That's my <sighs> Indian food. Up! I love Indian food. And you know what I love about Indian restaurants? It's always empty. There's only three people in that I don't know how they make money. They be there 20 years. How long you been here? 20 years, man. Continue, 20. There's always no one in there. Just you and two waiters. And they always got their music playing at a level. You're like, what is that? It's always like ding 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 and they always come in welcome welcome sit sit wherever you want to sit and you ever you ever like don't hear what they said to you and they have to repeat it they get a little shitty with you he's like so we can sit wherever you want sit okay you see you I tell you sit you sit and they give you a lot of water right away. It's pani, they call it pani. They give you water, like, take water, please, water, water. You're like, yo, dude, all right, enough. They be like, you're going to need this water. Because there's a lot of spice in Indian food. See, you not know, like the Chinese. That's what I love about the No, Chinese specifically. When something is hot on their menu, there's peppers there, bam, bam, bam. You'll see red ones. If it's really hot, two pepper. And they even warn you, are you sure? <laughs> you sure? Very spicy. Very spicy. You're like, no, let me get that. Why'd you do that? I'm just kidding. No worry. No worry. Spicy, right? You sure? You sure? At least they're. Any restaurant, they get it, it's almost like they get insulted when you say, is this gonna be spicy? Everything good. <laughs> right or wrong, everything good. I don't just, okay, just take it. What the <laughs> Cause that come out your like the music if you ain't careful. <laughs> Indian music and diarrhea are exactly the same. <laughs> when you think that over, you're like, Nala, you thought it was over. <laughs> that shit happened to me. I went back to that restaurant. Yo, man. He's like, what are you doing here again? <laughs> I had the diarrhea face. <laughs> You've been battling with <laughs> all day. Like. Yo, man, you need to change your menu, man. He's like, what are you talking? Change menu. I said, dude, put a warning on it. Like the Chinese, they put a pepper when it's hot. Why did you put like a with music coming on it? Do you know he cursed me the fuck out? Mother, I your mother in your eye, I your eye. Your what? They don't even say some gay. They don't realize how gay it is. You come here again, I really good. I ain't coming back to this, huh? Good night. My hero is Arnold Schwarzenegger, man. It's really like, yeah, I love that motherfucker.
I do, man. He had a, his, his career is sick, man. We can get mad all you want. Everybody's sick, mad because he's a shitty governor. I don't like Arnold. He's a shitty governor. He was Conan the Barbarian, motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck did you expect? He had a leaf and a sword. I'm <laughs> also <laughs> Horsey, ah, 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 chop your ah. Oh yeah, he's perfect for governor. Just like a politician, ain't saying shit, fuck it, keep him. <laughs> if you didn't see Predator, as a man, you should fucking hang up your manhood, yo. Arnold Schwarzenegger brought a whole new level to fucking action films. Fucking Predator, what? He didn't say shit in that movie. What was his script like? Ah, 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 look, ah, I can do it. Wouldn't you like to be in his office while he's vetoing a bill? Ah, get out. Yeah, do it. Get out. That's his stamp, get out. Everyone's gonna be doing that after the show. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> when you're taking a shit, ah, get out. <laughs> Come on, get out. Uh, ah. <laughs> he has kids, man. Fuck! I wish I would have seen that. His kids being born, all those steroids he took, those went straight into his fucking kids. So you know, they didn't need any help coming out. Ah. Where's my father? Uh, uh, give me your titty. Uh, uh, get out. Uh, where's my diaper? Uh, what is this cord? Uh. Good night, everybody. Just came out of yoga class. That's how you stand after yoga. Everything is stretched out. I came into class like this. <laughs> now I look at people as if they're peasants. <laughs> you ever see people come out of yoga, huh? They're so arrogant. Oh, you know, they got their little yoga mat. Mm, I love my yoga mat. I bought a yoga mat. I don't rent <laughs> dirty mats. I got my yoga mat because I'm arrogant. <laughs> huh? <laughs> then I have a yoga mat holder. Ooh. You ever see people with their yoga mat holders? Mm! I put it across my body. <laughs> I look like Blade in class. <laughs> I come to stretch. <laughs> That's how long my mat is. <laughs> you ever go to a yoga place because you're interested in yoga? You just want to grab a pamphlet and leave? It's just creepy. Like at a gym, it's great because it's noisy. You want to work out? Great. Let's do it. Hey, I can be your trainer. It's noisy. You're excited. They give you a pamphlet. Show up next week. <laughs> That's what you want. Yoga. No, creepy. It's very quiet. <laughs> And then there's always a teacher there at the desk, a teacher that teaches yoga. And he's so quiet, you can't hear him. I, I'm here for yoga. Are you here for yoga? <laughs> what? Are you? <laughs> it's like he's breathing as he's talking. <laughs> Are you here for? <laughs> And he's wearing shorts and one testicle's hanging out. You're like, whoa. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you know what I did in yoga class? Because yoga, if you guys have taken yoga, there's a lot of poses that make you suck in and hold. So there's a lot of action coming down here. It's like, <laughs> and you know, you hold it, you go, oh, I don't want, and you know, I don't feel spiritual. I feel like taking a dump, all, every pose. <laughs> So I said, this is my day. Oh yeah, here it goes. <laughs> That's the look you give when you fart in yoga. <laughs> 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 but you know what? 
She didn't get messed up. She didn't go, hey, who's farting in my yoga class? I don't know why I turned into an old black man all of a sudden. Where the hell? <laughs> hey, who's farting in my yoga class? I'm like Bernie Mac, who's farting in my yoga class? I'm telling you, don't fart in my yoga class. And she incorporated it into the dialogue. It was amazing, it was seamless. <laughs> That's right, detoxification. <laughs> Listen to your body. Listen, <laughs> there it goes again. That is ass laughter. That's what that is. You are happy. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> and after I take yoga, have to go to Starbucks. <laughs> have to go and get something iced. <laughs> I love when I go to Starbucks. I always act like I don't know what I want. I'm like, oh, I don't know what I want. <laughs> let's, let's be real. When you get whipped cream on anything, don't you scream in your head? You're so happy that you're getting whipped cream. But you're not a kid, because kids would be like, yeah, I'm getting whipped cream. Mm -hmm. But you're, and you're like, yeah, would you like some whipped cream? Yes, I would. <laughs> You want them to put it on and look at you as they're doing it. <laughs> look at me! <laughs> Le crème! Tap <laughs> After my Starbucks, my arrogance continues. It continues. I'm not done. <laughs> Gotta go see a foreign film. I love Guy Ritchie movies. I watch them all, you know? Lock, stock, two smoking barrels. Snatch, rock and roller, because it's the same plot. <laughs> I think whenever Guy Ritchie should make a movie, anytime they should start off the movie like, like we said before, <laughs> it's the same plot. Oi, oi, you got my money. Oi, you got my money. I don't have it. You don't have it. I don't have it. You don't have it. I don't have it. <laughs> and the movie is called He Doesn't Have It. And then Jason Statham comes out of nowhere. <laughs> you don't have his money. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup, Montréal!